Hi tribe, it's your mom of three in NYC. Back at you with another video. Hey, tribe, it's a little bittersweet, I have to admit. It is our last review in the book of Exodus. That's kind of amazing. I'm so thankful and grateful, but it's kind of amazing that we literally now have finished almost, after this video, we will have finished two books of the Bible, Genesis and Exodus. Let's just jump into it. If this is your first time here, welcome. It's awesome to have you. My name is Teneza. I am doing a new thing. I have never read the Bible before. I am reading the Bible for the very first time in 2023, and I'd love to have you along for the journey. All right, all right, tribe. That's my community here on YouTube. All you have to do is subscribe below to be part of Tanae's tribe. Today, we will, not just me, we will be reviewing Exodus chapters 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So, let's just jump in. Chapter 35 begins with Moses reminding the Israelites how vital the Sabbath is. It is vital. It is needs to be a priority for them to observe the Sabbath. The second part of chapter 35 is about the materials for the tabernacle and the instructions. And I was reading Tribe, and I'm going to be honest, I was getting a little bit confused. I was like, wait, I feel like I've read all this before. Like, is he repeating himself? And I compared yesterday's review and the review two days ago. And I read it against these chapters. So I have my notes. Is he repeating? Maybe not. These chapters are actually explaining the Israelites doing as instructed. Whereas the previous chapters 30, 31, 32, 33 were the instructions on how to. This is actually the fact that they did. And so it wasn't a repeat. It was just a confirmation that the instructions, the very specific instructions, the length, the width, the height, the gold, the wood, the acacia, the instructions that God had given the Israelites to do all these tasks, the Israelites actually were obedient. So these chapters show obedience. So like I mentioned, chapter 35, Moses reminds the Israelites how important the Sabbath is, the materials for the tabernacle, reminds the Israelites the Lord has chosen Bezalel and Ohaliab. Verse 22 of chapter 35, all who were willing, men and women alike, came and brought gold, jewelry of all kinds, brooches, earrings, rings, and ornaments. They all presented their gold on a wave offering to the Lord. And that was the chapter 35. In chapter 36, Moses summons Bezalel and Ohaliab. He gives them all of the offerings that the Israelites have brought. I wanted to read for you guys verse 3 of chapter 36. From Moses, all the offerings the Israelites had brought to carry out the work of constructing the sanctuary. The people continued to bring free will offerings morning after morning. And then I have, I want to read verse 5, chapter 36. It said to Moses, the people are bringing more than enough for doing the work the Lord commanded us to be done. So again, I, it is my opinion that these chapters are included so specifically as specific as the instructions the Lord gave to do these things to show the obedience of the Israelites. And that verse in chapter 36, that verse, the fifth verse, shows the extreme obedience. It's like these Israelites, takes me, they, they take me on a roller coaster. One minute they're like, yes, after the, the Red Sea was separated, yes, we'll do everything the Lord says. Then they want to make false idols. It's like up and down. But I, I'm going to hold out hope. I'm going to hold out hope. In chapters 36... It's about the skilled workers making the tabernacle. So the skilled workers made the tabernacle. In chapter 37, Bezalel made the ark, made the table, made the lampstand, 
and made the altar of incense. So that, in a nutshell, was chapter 37. It went over, you know, all the measurements and it just showed the extreme obedience of the Israelites in following, in following God's instructions. Chapter 38, they made the altar of burnt offering. They made the basin for washing. They made the courtyard. And chapter 39, they made the ephod. I will actually include the picture again that I included it two days ago. The review two days ago. I'll include that now. If you did not get a chance to watch it, I'll, I'll link it below for you. Ephod and the breast piece. In chapter 39, verse 2, they made the ephod of gold, of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and of finely twisted linen. In verse number 8 of chapter 39, they fashioned the breast piece, the work of a skilled craftsman. They made it like the ephod of gold, of blue, purple, and sacred scarlet yarn, and of finely twisted linen. I wanted to read verse 30 of chapter 39. They made the plate, the sacred diadem, out of pure gold, engraved on it like an inscription on a seal. The inscription reads, Holy to the Lord. So beautiful. And then verse 42, the Israelites had done all the work just as the Lord commanded Moses. And that's the, that's the title for today's review. The Lord summons us. And I chose that title because in the earlier chapters in Exodus, he laid out exact instructions he called the Israelites to be obedient and to do these things. And they were obedient. And it's so funny how like good that makes me feel. So just think about God and how much he loves us and how good it makes him feel when we're obedient to him. Chapter 40, the final chapter. I'm excited. I'm excited, sad. That's my new word. Excited, sad. I'm excited, but it's like, oh, it's over already. All right. The Lord tells Moses how to precisely set up the tabernacle. Verse 36. In all the travels of the Israelites, whenever the cloud lifted from above the tabernacle, they would set out. Verse 37. If the cloud did not lift, they did not set out until the day it lifted. And then the last verse of the book of Exodus. So the cloud of the Lord was over the tabernacle by day and fire was in the cloud by night in the sight of all the house of Israel during all their travels. <gasps> Give yourselves a hand. We did it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I hope that you are proud of you. All right, so that ends Exodus try. We are now in Leviticus. Please leave in the comments below if you want me to go ahead and write out the entire reading plan for the week. But actually, like as a rule of thumb, I feel like five chapters is a good amount for us to get one video. I think that when I was having part one and part two, it was creating a lot of work for people, and I would just rather stay as focused as possible. So. I think I'm going to do five chapters a day, roughly. And Leviticus is on the shorter side. It's only 20, 27 chapters. So if we do five a day, we should be done by the end of this week. Try that. I'm having so much fun doing this with you. All right. As always, leave any comments, any questions down below. And I'm going to see you in tomorrow's video. I will be review. We will be. I'm going to start just saying we. We will be, look at that light, you guys. We will be reviewing Leviticus chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, all right. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.